Good morning from Newport. Here we are on the corner of Broadway and Calvert, and we are at the memorial for Alfred Vanderbilt, who was lost on the Lusitania. It's, uh, he was a well-known scion of uh, Cornelius Vanderbilt and uh, nephew to uh, Gloria Vanderbilt and her son, the journalist uh, Anderson Cooper. And uh, today is the day after the singing of the Lusitania. And what we know 104 years ago is, uh, of course, uh, his relatives were furious in trying to find what became of him. And unfortunately, he was one of the bodies that was not recovered. Uh, but let's uh, talk a little bit about uh, Alfred Vanderbilt. You know, he was uh, going overseas to help with the Red Cross. You know, many uh, well-to-do people looked to uh, do their part during the wartime. And uh, when he boarded, uh, he of course uh, received um, a telegram warning him not to sail. He was anonymous. And uh, he stood with friends like George Kessler and Ann Scheimer and they laughed about the warnings and in fact uh, the sun came out on the dreary day and shined right on Mrs. Scheimer and uh, Mr. Vanderbilt said that was good luck. Uh, so the voyage passed uh, pretty quietly, you know, we dined with friends. Uh, Mrs. Papad Papadopoulos remembered playing cards with him and Lady Allen and uh, also she danced with him at the concert ball. And uh, aboard with him was his uh, his manservant, Ronald Denyer, who was a young man from Hamilton, England. And, uh, you know, they had a, a friendly and affectionate relationship. And when you uh, read his letters home, he would refer to Alfred Vanderbilt as Mr. V. So, on the day of the sinking, uh, after the ship was torpedoed, uh, Alfred was seen by the entrance holding a friend's jewelry case. And then, uh, next, he was seen with uh, Rita Jolivet in the main entrance and finally uh, he was seen on deck with his, uh, by his friend Thomas Slidell and he had just given his uh, life belt to a woman that had none and uh, here we have a picture of uh, Alfred handsome young guy and uh, you know he's married twice had three children and uh, you know like any celebrity uh, his name was in the papers frequently but, um, you know, his sons remember him as a doting father, and that's how we should also remember him. Um, you know, also we have uh, a photo here of Denier, the, his uh, valet. And, uh, you know, you can see, uh, posed very nicely. Well, uh, let's take a look at this uh, memorial, which is in a very sad state of disrepair. Um, you know, there's... Uh, it's, uh, top of it is broken actually and pieces are missing you know it's uh, you can barely even read the inscription to them and uh, it's very surprising in a historic place like Newport that this should uh, end up in such a bad condition and hopefully uh, you know maybe with uh, some notice to, to the town and the newspaper uh, we could actually have this restored, but uh, you know, you know, just uh, this is uh, just one of the things that uh, yet to be accomplished. So for now, uh, this is on the road with Titanic International Society, and we'll see you soon for the next adventure.